Hello everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Junior Times. Now, today's topic is an animal habitat. It's what all sort of life kind of revolves around and it's very needed. And it is of course the ocean, right? In particular, we have a very serious problem with the oceans right now because the temperatures is getting hotter and hotter. And so the water is getting warmer and warmer and that's really affecting the entire earth including these organisms called coral so what scientists are going to do is they're going to start growing them in farms so we have coral farms uh, the, uh, the waters off the island state of Hawaii are home to coral reefs unlike anywhere else in the world you can think of coral reefs as like in that movie Finding Nemo we see all these tropical fishes and colorful fishes living inside these small um, rock-like things but they're not actually rocks they're actually coral right so think of those colorful pictures uh, because of this uniqueness preservation or protection conservation has proven difficult however officials think they have a solution to cultivate or to farm a large amount of coral in a short amount of time uh, to create coral farms the goal or the mission is to have a supply of coral that can replenish or to uh, recharge damaged reefs in the future so if a reef is damaged then they can just change it or replenish it coral reefs are a vital part important part of the underwater ecosystem and also keeps the shoreline from eroding so the shoreline is talking about where the land and the water meet, where the beaches are. And eroding means when the uh, land is washed away, so the land is getting smaller and smaller. But if we have coral reefs, it will keep that land strong and it won't erode away. Coral <coughs> is actually a sea animal that often leaves behind or it sort of makes remains of uh, a skeleton after death so a coral reef is made up of living coral and coral skeletons as well as deposits from other sea creatures so coral uh, basically these are dead corals some of them is the skeletons of corals but right next to them are the living corals so they all sort of live together in a cemetery or house residential type thing uh, common coral species around the world grow as much as 30 centimeters per year but the species in Hawaii only grows about one centimeter per year so it's a lot slower when it grows in Hawaii in this particular place as such the state's division of aquatic coral restoration the water coral protection or trying to uh, remake says traditional or old methods of replenishing coral found elsewhere are not possible in Hawaii because Hawaii is special it, it won't work so the organization has created farms to yield or to produce the fastest growing coral possible which will then be transplanted into the ocean transplanted is when we take it from the farm and we you know uh, keep the roots safe of a plant and then we put it into the ocean and then we sort of make it the new home so to review uh, we have three key questions here first one how are Hawaii officials going to preserve or protect the coral reefs there officials think they have a solution to blank a large amount of coral in a short period of time create coral farms so what we do at farms is we grow you know plants right we grow produce crops vegetation uh, we sort of farm it and we want to grow it so another way we say that is to cultivate cultivate is when people they take care of plants and they grow it in a controlled place like a farm it's not you know wild by itself it's where people control the growing of it b what is coral coral is actually a sea animal that often blanks behind a skeleton after death so this coral uh, let's say this is a living coral right so after it dies all that will remain all that will be you know sort of still behind will be 
this skeleton, right? So the skeleton is what comes after the coral dies. So it is what is left behind, or it is something that the animal leaves behind. Okay? C. What does the Division of Aquatic Coral Restoration of Hawaii say? The state's Division of Aquatic Coral Restoration says traditional methods of blank coral found elsewhere are not possible in Hawaii. So elsewhere, let's say Australia, they are able to sort of recharge the coral. If the corals are dying too much, too fast, and then they can sort of bring in new coral and make it uh, live again. So another way to sort of uh, recharge is to, it has the same prefix, is to replenish. So to replenish means if something is going down, you have no more juice, well, your mom can replenish and then you'll have juice again. All right. A, uh, we have three key terms here. A, the goal is to have a blank of coral that can replenish damaged reefs in the future. So what we want is to have sort of a collection of this coral just in case that we need it, then we have it already ready, right? So when we have something ready to use, uh, we say that is a supply. So supplies are you know, things that we save and we use it as a tool when we need it. So for example, school supplies would be pencils, erasers, markers, and things like that. B, a coral reef is blank of coral, of living coral and coral skeletons as well as deposits from other sea creatures. So coral reef is um, what the sort of main parts of it are, are many different things, right? It's living coral, dead coral, dead uh, other animals and uh, vegetation and seaweed. So all of that, uh, what it consists of or what it is, made up of. So made up of is when we're talking about what are the parts, the smaller parts that make the big part. So people, we are made up of you know, bones, blood, skin, hair, you know, organs and things like that. Those are our small parts that make our whole body. C. The organization has created farms to blank the fastest growing coral possible. So again, on farms, we learn that we cultivate um, plants and coral in this case. However, another way that we can talk about what we farm is yield. So yield is how much we produce or how much we can make. So if we say, oh, yesterday we had a very big yield, that means yesterday we have this much that we grew, whether it's mushrooms or strawberries. If we have a small yield, that means we only have this much you know, potatoes or we only grew uh, this much corn. So to review, supply, we can think of it as sort of using it as a tool, we have something ready, and then uh, this is our supply and we can use it when we need to. Made up of is talking about the smaller parts of a bigger thing. And yield is talking about how much fruit or how much vegetables or how much coral you make from a farm. Okay? So I know we all see movies and TV shows with sea creatures and coral reefs and it's all very beautiful. And I hope that we all get a chance to see them because of programs like this, because they are very important, not to only you and I, but for all animals in the earth. So thank you for joining us for Junior Times today. My name is Chris from Reading Town. I'll see you next time.